So Lucy has been hiding in the wardrobe ready to crack, catch a creaker. And we're giving some more details about what the creakers are like. Chapter 12. Grunt, guff, scratch and sniff. Lucy looked up at the heavy washing basket dangling from the ceiling, then looked down at the four creakers. One more step, Lucy thought, and I've gotcha! She released the creaker trap. The skipping rope unravelled around the bangers, the hangers and swished out the wardrobe so fast she could barely see it whiz across the room. In a great crash and clatter, the washing basket came crashing down from above, trapping the creakers under it and sending the rubbish they collected flying off in all directions. No! growled Grunt. Burbled Guff. Get off me! Screeched Scratch. We'll be trapped! Squealed Sniff. The Creakers cried out in panic and Lucy leapt out of the wardrobe, heart ringing like an alarm clock in her chest. It's the kiddling! Grunt croaked. She was sneakering in the wardrobe! What a trickster! Said Gruff. Yes, a naughty little rotter! Sniff cried, interrupting Scratch, who bushed him on the head. Sorry! And there they all are, trapped. Grunt quickly took charge plunging his black claw into the pouch around Sniff's neck and pulling out a pinch of their golden dust. He puffed it straight at Lucy and all the creakers watched eagerly as it swished through the air straight towards her face. As though the dust itself had a mind of its own and was reaching out with golden crumbly fingers. But instead of finding her eyes, the dozy dust hit the tinted lenses of her swimming goggles and fell uselessly on the floor. Sniff gasped in horror and fainted in shock. No kiddling, sorry, child, had ever fended off the dozy dust's attack before. You crafty little sprog, Grunt spat. Did you see that? The kiddies got freaky dust stoppers, Guffed, mumbled in a panic. Scratch, kicked, Sniff in the belly. Sniff! Sniff! It's me, Scratch! Wake! Up! Sniff said, coming round. She'd be a crafty little kiddling, listen, Grunt growled, glaring at Lucy. Suddenly, he began clawing at the floor through the woven bars of the upside-down basket, which was barely big enough to hold all four of them. The other creakers copied him, digging their claws into the wooden floor and scratching away. Slowly, the whole washing basket began to move across the floor towards the bed. It wasn't heavy enough to stop them, and with Norman knocked out with dozy dust, there was no one to weigh it down. Lucy gulped hard, swallowing her fear and sprinted across the room. She jumped up on top of the washing basket, pushing it back against, uh, pu pushing it back again, trapping the creakers underneath. Let us out! Let us out! The creakers croaked. No, I will not let you out, Lucy said with a nervous wobble in her voice as she crouched above these monsters. It was terrifying not being able to see what the creakers were up to under her feet. 
but she didn't dare get down in the case they made a run for it. As she peeped over the edge, the creakers were hidden in the shadows. Just their long, creepy claws could be seen as they scratched at the floor. Lucy wished she could turn on the lights, but the switch was on the other side of the room. If only she had... Norman's torch! She could see it lying on the bed next to him. But could she reach it? What's the kiddling doing? Goff muttered nervously from below. Can't see the rotter, groaned Grunt. She'll be stretching out for something, croaked Scratch. She's got a... Ah! The bright, the bright, Sniff cried in pain as Lucy flicked on the torch and shone it down through the bars in the baskets, trying to see these creatures creakers up close. Cats the bright off you horrid little kitty bug! It be too hot! Grunt cried, covering away from the torchlight. Lucy suddenly caught a whiff of something horrid. It smelled like burning hair, all smoky and dry. She realised that the Creakers didn't just dislike the torchlight. It was hurting them, burning them. Oh, I'm sorry, Lucy said, switching off the torch right away. This, these creatures were awfully disgusting, but she didn't want to hurt them. No creature deserved that. Plus, the smell of the burning flesh was horrendous. Yes, that's a nice kindling, gasped Goff, dabbing at his smouldering skin. Now you'll be lifting up this trap and we'll be on our way, leaving you and your friends alone, yes? He added, peering up at Lucy with his black eyeballs. Ella? Norman, Lucy said, suddenly remembering her friends. Gently, she prodded Ella, who was lying next to the basket. Ella, Ella, it's me, Lucy. Can you hear me? But Ella didn't open her eyes. She was snoring happily in a blissful snooze. Oh, I wouldn't be trying to wake up a dozer, said Sniff helpfully. Not good to wake someone who's at the dust. Makes them all messy in the noggin. Messy in the noggin? Had the dust? Lucy asked, confused. Yes, kiddlings go right out with a bit of dozy dust. Leaving it all nice and easy peasy for us to creak about. Ow! groaned Sniff as Grunt elbowed him in the round belly. Quiet, bog brain! You'll be telling the human too much! Grunt snapped. No, don't stop, said Lucy. That's why I've trapped you. I want answers. And you're not going anywhere until I get them. The creakers went silent and Lucy sensed them all looking at each other inside the basket beneath her feet. We're not telling the kiddling a thing, she heard Grunt hiss firmly to the others. More loudly, he added, We'll be waiting for more creakers to come and free us. Then you'll be in a whole heap of the troubles, whispered Scratch, threateningly with a sly smile in his voice. What are the creakers? said Gruff, curiously rubbing his cannonball tummy. 
I didn't know anyone else be coming here tonight. Shut up your mud hole, you much-minded moron, Grunt barked. Oh, right, sorry, yeah, they're, they're mothers, Duff quickly said, trying to play along. But Lucy now knew that no one else was coming. Suddenly, she had an idea. There was a way she could look at the Creekers. Her bedroom mirror. She quickly whipped around to face the wall where her full-length mirror was hanging, positioned perfectly to reflect those wicked creatures underneath. There you are, she smiled and put her hands on her hips. Hello! Waved, sniffed chirpily before being elbowed in the nose by Scratch. Now, I want you to tell me exactly what you've done with the grown-ups, Lucy said. And there she is looking at the... Gruff. No! Huff grunt, firmly staring back at her in the mirror. I want to know why you took them, Lucy calmly explained. Not a chance! I want to know why you creak around our bedrooms at night. Can't tell the kiddies! Our secrets. And I want you to tell me how I can get the grown-ups back, said Lucy. Wah! 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 Wild grunt, which Lucy remembered was the creaker's way of laughing. Get the grown-ups back! Wah! Lucy's stomach twisted at the word impossible. I'm not silly. Nothing's impossible, she said. Impossible isn't real. It's just in your mind. If you tell me where the grown-ups are, I'll march down into the Woleb and get them myself. And things can all go back to the way they were before. Oh, I'm afraid you can't be doing that, said Guff, sounding a little bit more serious than he had so far. You see, kiddling, your grown-ups aren't quite the same as you remember them. The creakers started giggling, which sounded more like the way they gargle when you brush your teeth. What? What do you mean? Lucy said, starting to get a little panicked. What have you done to them? We? said Scratch. Not we, not us little creakers, not Grunt, Guff, Scratch and Sniff. We'll be good little creakers. We're not hurting your grown-ups, jumped in Sniff. Then who, asked Lucy, her mind racing to work out this riddle. It'll be the wallop, said Grunt darkly. The wallop's doing what the wallop does. What does the wallop do, asked Lucy. The creakers looked at each other with wicked smiles. There will I be changing them, said Grunt. There will I be twisting them, said Guff. There will I would be keeping them, added Scratch, forever, whispered Sniff. And we'll find out next time what Lucy is going to do.